From the moment you found out you have cancer, you likely had questions about your treatment. Now your doctor has recommended chemotherapy or biotherapy, a way of treating your cancer. This information will give you an idea of how these medications work and how to take care of yourself during treatment. It is normal to have lots of questions and anxiety when starting treatment. Some questions you may have include, will this treatment work for me? How often will I have treatment and for how long? How will I feel? Will I still be able to work? Will I still be able to do the things that I enjoy? How do I talk about my cancer and treatment with the people in my life? How will it affect them? How do I manage my anxiety? Many of these questions can't be answered simply or right away, but we are here to help you. Educating yourself about your treatment may make you feel less anxious. When receiving your treatment, it can be a single drug or a combination of medications. It may be used alone or along with surgery or radiation therapy. The medications are used to treat or control cancer cells by interfering with their growth or preventing them from multiplying. These medications significantly improve the survival rates of patients with cancer. Your doctor will decide your treatment based on what type of cancer you have, whether you were previously given chemotherapy, and whether you have any other health problems or conditions. Chemotherapy is given in several different ways, most commonly by mouth, injection, IV, or as a cream applied to the skin. The amount of time it takes to receive your chemotherapy varies greatly. When you begin treatment, it may be administered during a stay at the hospital or at the Coburn Cancer Center at Centricare Health Plaza. You may receive medications prior to treatment to prevent nausea and vomiting or prevent a reaction. These medications may cause you to be sleepy. For this reason, it is very important to have a driver at your first treatment. Your healthcare team will review your individual treatment plan with you. The length of your IV treatment may range from hours to days. Patients receiving continuous infusions may receive their treatment in the hospital as an inpatient. To make this time more pleasant, wear comfortable clothes. You can also read or listen to music. You may have an IV in your forearm that is removed after each treatment. If inserting the IV becomes difficult, a central venous catheter can be used, commonly referred to as a pick or port. The benefits of having a central catheter are that it allows blood to be drawn more easily and limits repeated needle sticks. These devices are safe and often preferred by patients. Your doctor will discuss the risks and benefits with you. To best prepare yourself for your first treatment, have a light meal. Bring music, reading, or any activity you can do quietly for a few hours. For your convenience, we provide TV, DVD players, and laptops with internet access. Pick up your medications that your healthcare team has prescribed for you. Bring a copy of your medication list to each treatment. Obtain a schedule of your treatments and tests. Have someone come along with you to offer support or drive you home. After your treatment, you may be given medicine to minimize side effects such as nausea and vomiting. Once you return home, the following will help to ensure a smooth recovery. Get sufficient sleep. Engage in daily physical activity as you are able to help manage fatigue. Maintain a healthy diet. Drink plenty of fluids. Accept help with meals, grocery shopping, and housekeeping. Follow your provider's instructions. Ask questions and speak up if you don't understand something. If you have side effects, know that their severity is not a sign of how well your cancer is responding to treatment. Some common side effects of chemotherapy include nausea or vomiting, constipation or diarrhea, decreased appetite or weight loss, fatigue, hair loss and skin changes, weakened immune system and increased susceptibility to infection, mouth changes, numbness or pain in your hands or feet called peripheral neuropathy, and sexual dysfunction, including hot flashes, decrease in desire, vaginal dryness, erectile difficulties, or infertility. Don't hesitate to talk to your healthcare provider with issues or concerns. Chemotherapy destroys cancer cells, but also can destroy some of your normal functioning cells. 
One kind of cell that is affected is white blood cells, the cells that help your body fight infection. Seven to 10 days after your treatment, your cells may go through an nadir period where your blood counts are at their lowest. Your cells may recover on their own or with the help of medicine. There are things you can do to prevent sickness. Wash your hands often with soap or alcohol-based sanitizer. Stay away from crowds, particularly during cold and flu season. Avoid people who have a cold or flu or who are recently vaccinated. Avoid shaking hands. Should you get sick, watch for these symptoms and call your doctor with questions. Chills accompanied with shakes. Fever greater than 100.4. Burning with urination. A new cough or shortness of breath and wound redness or tenderness with drainage. During chemotherapy, your body may make fewer platelets, the cells that make your blood able to clot. As a result, you may run the risk of increased bleeding. Here's what you can do. Avoid the use of aspirin or ibuprofen-based medicine. Blow your nose gently. Use a soft bristled toothbrush. Avoid dental care or invasive procedures until platelets are back to normal. Avoid activities that may cause injury to you. Use an electric razor instead of blades for shaving. Watch for these symptoms and call your doctor with questions. Increased or abnormal bruising. Small red spots under the skin. Increased or prolonged nosebleeds. Bleeding gums or blood in stool or urine. Anemia is when the red blood cells in your body are low. Red blood cells carry oxygen to all parts of the body. The red blood cells may be affected by your treatment. Therefore, the following symptoms are things to watch for. Fatigue, shortness of breath with activity, dizziness, weakness or tiredness, and chills. To manage these symptoms, you should rest and conserve energy, set short-term goals for activity, Ask to talk to our registered dietitian. Change positions slowly to prevent dizziness. And talk to your healthcare team about shortness of breath. Chemotherapy affects the cell lining of your stomach and the part of the brain that controls nausea and vomiting. This can be a common concern for patients. If you experience nausea, we encourage you to take your anti-nausea medicine as directed. Eat small meals. Sip hydrating fluids throughout the day. Minimize food odors. During your first visit, the nurse will review your risk for developing nausea, explain how to take your nausea medicine, and schedule a visit with a dietitian as needed. Constipation is excessively hard and dry bowel movements that are infrequent. To prevent constipation, increase physical activity, maintain usual bowel habits, increase fluid and fiber intake. Watch for these symptoms and call your doctor if needed abdominal pain or cramping, nausea or vomiting, no bowel movement for more than two to three days. Diarrhea is loose or watery stools. To help cope, we recommend using medicine as your doctor prescribes, making dietary changes, replacing lost fluids, and keeping the rectal area clean. Watch for these symptoms and call your doctor if needed. Dehydration evident by headaches, concentrated urine, or dry skin, lips, and mouth. Blood in your stool, or more than five loose stools in a day, despite the use of medicine. Cancer treatment may affect the cells lining your mouth and cause mouth sores. Talk to your dentist about getting an exam, fluoride treatment, and cleaning before your treatment. Only use alcohol-free mouth rinses to prevent or treat mouth sores. Use a soft toothbrush and brush after meals. This is important in helping reduce infections. Use an oral warm water rinse. Ask your doctor if you have any additional questions. During cancer treatment, the energy provided by a healthy diet can help you rebuild normal cells, maintain strength, and fight infection. As a result, you may feel better and may be more able to cope with side effects. We encourage you to Maintain weight through adequate calorie and protein consumption. Drink a variety of hydrating fluids. Meet with our registered dietitian to create a nutrition care plan. And 
talk to your healthcare team about dietary supplements or vitamins. Cancer-related fatigue is defined as a persistent subjective sense of tiredness related to cancer or cancer treatment that interferes with usual functioning. To help you deal with fatigue, we suggest you get adequate sleep, balance rest and exercise, prioritize activities and daily responsibilities, manage stress, and maintain a healthy weight and good nutrition. Fatigue can be the most distressing symptom patients experience. Your healthcare team will be monitoring your fatigue throughout your treatment. If you are having difficulty taking care of yourself at home, talk to your doctor. You may notice changes in your skin during treatment or even weeks after it is over. Some of these symptoms include redness, peeling, discoloration, rashes, sun sensitivity, or an acne type rash. It is important to report these symptoms to your doctor. There are steps you can take to avoid or reduce these symptoms. Drink plenty of fluids. Use gentle or unscented products for bathing or washing. Wear loose fitting clothing. Use a sunscreen with SPF 30 or greater. For acne like symptoms, keep your face clean and dry. Talk with your doctor before using any over-the-counter acne creams. Some chemotherapy drugs cause hair loss or thinning. Your provider will discuss if the treatment you are receiving will cause hair loss. If you experience hair loss, we recommend you cut your hair short, wear a hat, scarf, or wig. Visit with a cosmetologist to match a wig to your natural hair color. The visit and one wig is provided free of charge thanks to CentraCare Health Foundation. Seek services through the American Cancer Society. They offer a program to help people cope with the side effects of cancer treatment, such as dry skin and hair loss. Chemotherapy can affect the cells of your nervous system. As a result, you may have numbness, tingling, or weakness in your hands or feet. This is called neuropathy. Your sense of balance may also be affected. To avoid injury, move with care using handrails and bath mats to avoid falls. Avoid cutting yourself by using caution when handling sharp objects. Use oven mitts or gloves when handling hot or frozen items. As always, report symptoms to your doctor and they will discuss it with you. Sharing your cancer diagnosis with others can be an overwhelming experience. You may have questions on how to manage the message with friends, family, and coworkers, as well as what information to share with your employer if you are planning to use any of your work benefits. Emotional and physical intimacy with your partner and family can be important in coping with cancer. It is important to be aware that hugging and kissing are safe. Some chemotherapy remains in your body fluids up to 48 hours after treatment. If you are a man, Use a condom to protect your partner during sexual intercourse. We have resources available to help. Please ask your nurse, care coordinator, or social worker to assist you. Go to the nearest emergency room or call immediately if you experience a temperature greater than 100.4 degrees or you have shakes or chills without a fever, a new onset of wheezing, trouble breathing, or chest pain, newly developed itching, rash, or hives, bleeding that does not stop. As you begin your journey, we understand this is a difficult time. Our staff is here to answer your questions and assist you and your family. We are a team. Please speak up if you have questions. You are not facing cancer treatment alone. We are in this together.